One of our valued followers gave us a very constructive feedback on one of our videos with the DMP3. I really appreciate such a comment and feedback to our video. In specifically, if we have made some technical errors, everyone's more than welcome to give us those constructive feedbacks. In today's video, I'd like to use this opportunity to make a minor correction on one of my videos on DMP3, which has spoken about the class pole 0, 1, 2, and 3. As we all know, DMP3 has different class poles. And class 0, 1, 2, and 3. Why there's a pole class for all this data? The event data only apply to class 1, 2, and 3. And class 0 is strictly applied for static data. And what does static data mean? In a simple term, static data means a snapshot of the value and the conditions of those data points configured in a DMP3 outstation. For example, when a DMP3 master issued a class 0 pole, it would request for all the DMP3 data configured in his outstations. That's including value, condition, or any other DMP3 attributes. Event data means that there will be some changes or the events happened on site. The outstation will then send the event data back to its master, usually via unsolicited messages. We have covered unsolicited messages in one of our other videos. Please refer to that video for further information. Once again, thank you for your constructive feedback. We really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please like, share, and follow us. We talk to you next time.